Let's look at how this storm actually moved throughout the area. Griffin. Yeah, minute by minute, we can take you through this. So at 10.35 p.m. last night, that's when the tornado warning mm -hmm. was first issued. About 10 minutes later is when we actually had the first debris signature pop right. up at 10.45 p.m. Just crossed over the interstate, impacting uh, a lot of the areas near Pine Hill Road, uh, right near uh, Walker Chapel Road, where a lot of the damage occurred. And then it kept going northeast really yeah. quickly. By 10.50 p.m., it crossed over Highway 79, affecting places in the western suburbs of Center Point. That's the tornado right there in the center of the screen. Off to the north of that, we actually had debris fallout that was detected by the radar. That means the winds up in the higher up in the atmosphere pushed all of that debris off to the north by about three miles. That's the first time I've ever seen that in my career as a meteorologist, for sure. And then by 11 o'clock p.m., it continued its track to the east, and it finally lifted right at around 11 o'clock. And in that time, 25 minutes, it covered 19 miles, at the very least caused high-end EF2 damage, indicative of 135 miles per hour. We'll have to wait and see officially uh, if that's classified as anything higher than that, at least in EF2. And debris lofted potentially up to 15,000 feet, indicated on the dual pole. Radar. Pretty incredible stuff.